Did you know that the scar on Jason Momoa's left eyebrow was the result of a nasty bar fight? To learn more about the Aquaman actor and see how he's transformed over the years, keep watching. Joseph Jason Namakaea Momoa was born in Honolulu, Hawaii in 1979. His parents were artistically inclined. His mother was a photographer and his father was a painter in addition to being a marine biologist. They divorced shortly after his birth and Momoa moved with his mom to Iowa when only six months old. However, he identifies strongly with his Hawaiian heritage, having spent much of his childhood traveling back to his birthplace to visit his father. Momoa has been an active defender of the environment in Hawaii, fighting to save a sacred mountain from developers. He told CNN, I think there's a lot of problems in Hawaii. There's a lot of things that have happened in our history, a lot of injustice, and so we're shining a light on it. People like myself or Dwayne Johnson, Bruno Mars, are trying to spread the awareness all around the world. From his mother's side, he is of German and Irish descent, and from his father's side, he is of Polynesian heritage and can trace his roots not only to Hawaii, but to Aotearoa or New Zealand as well. He explained to News Hub, The Momoa lineage goes back nine generations in Hawaii, but we actually found out we come from Aotearoa, which means we left Hawaii, went down to Aotearoa, and came back. That's my line. In speaking to InStyle about his childhood, Jason Momoa had this to say, I'm definitely a product of two very opposite worlds. Though raised by his mother in Iowa, Momoa also spent long chunks of time in Hawaii where his father lived and described the difficulty of being treated as an outsider in both places. In his predominantly white Iowa town, he said he was bullied for being mixed race, telling the outlet, I got beat up a lot just for being slightly different. It was gnarly. The publication also explained that when the young Momoa was in Hawaii, he was dismissed by locals because he spent time living on the mainland. Difficult as it was, he credits his rural Midwestern upbringing with helping him stay grounded in Tinseltown, especially when it comes to his sex symbol status. He doesn't let it go to his head. Momoa told Square Mile, I wasn't raised that way. I was raised in the Midwest where it's a case of, you grow up to do your workload. I wasn't raised in LA. I don't have that mindset. He also believes that growing up as the only child of a single mother helped form his personality, adding, I think being raised by a single mother gives you more vulnerability and sensitivity as an individual. I can be tough when I need to, but that's not the way I am in person. While it's been reported that Jason Momoa started out as a model, he later admitted those credentials were something he made up in order to get his first acting job. As the story goes, he was 19 years old and working in a surf shop when he heard about the open casting call for Baywatch Hawaii. The casting directors asked if he had any experience, so he just started to make stuff up. Luckily for him, he was offered the role of one of the main characters for the last two seasons of Baywatch Hawaii, portraying the character of Jason Lone from 1999 to 2001. Oh, and this is um, Jason. I didn't catch his last name. Jason's enough. Momoa told the Des Moines Register, I went from folding t-shirts in Hawaii to walking around half naked with really beautiful women, which wasn't bad at 19. While the role led him to change the course of his life and pursue acting, he had trouble finding work after the show ended. Momoa explained in an interview with Esquire, I fell in love with the art of acting, but no one took me seriously. Baywatch isn't known for its quality of acting. I couldn't get an agent to save my life. Remember being a kid and falling for an actor on TV and fantasizing that someday you would grow up and meet them somewhere and they'd instantly fall in love with you? For Jason Momoa, that fantasy became true life when he started dating Lisa Bonet in 2005. In an interview with Esquire, he confessed, she was literally my childhood crush. I mean, I didn't tell her that. I didn't let her know I was a stalker until after we had the kids. Dude, was there, I am was a, a full-fledged stalker. 12 years and two kids later, the couple tied the knot in 2017, a fact which caused Momoa to exclaim to Esquire, if someone says something isn't possible, I'm like, listen here, I married Lisa Bonet. Anything is possible. Unfortunately, their match didn't last forever. In early 2022, they announced they were splitting after a 16-year relationship. In a statement on Instagram that has now been deleted, Momoa wrote, we have all felt the squeeze and changes of these transformational times, and so we share our family news that we are parting ways in marriage. The love between us carries on, evolving in ways it wishes to be known and lived.
The gap in Jason Momoa's left eyebrow isn't a quirky style choice, it's a scar. In 2008, Momoa was involved in a pretty nasty bar incident that he believes must have been a quote, gang initiation, he told Access. The actor went on to add, It was crazy. A guy smashed a pint glass in my face. I got a little over 140 stitches in my face. At the time, NBC Los Angeles covered the incident and reported that the man, who was a resident of Venice, California, was charged with assault with a deadly weapon and pleaded not guilty. It's unclear if he was convicted, but Momoa doesn't seem to hold too much of a grudge about the scar. Momoa said in his interview with Access, It helped me get those mean roles. And fans aren't complaining either. In fact, they love the scar so much that they started a Facebook fan page for it, calling it a quote, sexy scar. When Jason Momoa landed the title role in Conan the Barbarian in 2011, he must have thought his long-awaited big break was near. As it turned out, it was, but not because of the box office disaster that was Conan. At the age of 32, Momoa finally landed his first gig as a leading man, but it didn't open the doors he expected. The actor told Access, "'It's my first lead in anything, so I'm really pumped just to see it.'" Unfortunately, audiences and critics weren't as excited about the new interpretation of the classic tale. It was listed as one of the 10 biggest flops of 2011 by The Hollywood Reporter. While Conan wasn't the massive success he might have hoped for, Momoa did become a part of one of the biggest shows in TV history when he slipped into the role of Khal Drogo on HBO's Game of Thrones that same year. To this day, it's the role most people recognize him for. But even his Game of Thrones breakthrough wasn't much of a break. Despite the massive success of the show, he said he had difficulty finding acting work after his character was killed off on the show. Momoa told Esquire, I mean, where do you put Drogo? Go. He's not going in a rom-com. No one even knew I spoke English. After landing the role of Aquaman and finding his superhero success, Jason Momoa felt like he could finally breathe. Momoa told Square Mile, "...once I knew I had the Aquaman role, it took a lot of the pressure off." The character first appeared in Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice, and the director, Zack Snyder, needed someone who could compete with Superman's muscles and Batman's brooding countenance in order to shake the perception that Aquaman is silly. In an interview with BBC Radio 1, Momoa said, "...Aquaman got made fun of a lot, and Zack's a big fan of Game of Thrones and wanted someone to come in so they wouldn't make fun of Aquaman anymore." Momoa was a perfect fit and has since taken Aquaman to the next level, going on to appear in Justice League films and Aquaman as well as an upcoming sequel. Aquaman is now DC's highest-grossing movie ever. Momoa's become so synonymous with the superhero that he even had a part in creating the story for the Aquaman sequel. Momoa told Esquire, "...I came in with a big pitch, with the whole thing mapped out, and they loved it." He strongly identifies with the character's connection to the water and his outsider status, making it easy to take part in the storytelling. I've been in the ocean, you know, since I was a baby, and I come from a long lineage of watermen. Dune, which premiered in 2021, was Jason Momoa's latest blockbuster, but certainly not his last. He's already finished filming Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, which is scheduled to be released December 2022. According to Deadline, he also has a Western coming up called The Last Manhunt. Momoa not only stars in the film, but also co-wrote and executive produced it. Netflix Film also tweeted about an upcoming film starring Momoa called Slumberland, writing, "...Slumberland will be a new adventure story about an eccentric outlaw, Momoa, who guides a young hero, Marlo Barkley, through a secret dream world." The film is slated for a 2022 release. Deadline also reported that Momoa will be starring in a reboot of the 1993 film Cliffhanger, which originally starred Sylvester Stallone, though IMDb still has the project labeled as in pre-production. Clearly, there will be no shortage of Jason Momoa's screen time in 2022, and certainly in the years to come, as his star continues to rise. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.